Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I'll be explaining to you guys how to install packages in your operating in your uh, up in your to your Anaconda distribution using the Conda Conda package manager. Now, if you have followed my tutorial prop in my previous tutorial properly, okay. Now uh, the installation for process packages becomes much easy. All you have to do is just type Conda install and then type your package name. Let's say I want to install num packages numpy, scipy, and matplotlib. All I have to do is just type uh, the package names along with this, along with this name conda install. Now conda is actually your pa is actually your package installer and at the same time a, a env environment in environment manager, Python environment manager. So it does the both the jobs. So if I press enter right now. You'll just go to the internet. You'll go into the internet. Look at the look up uh, the re requirements and specifications for these packages, and fetch the metadata. And then we'll say what has to be done. So if you look at it, it says uh, it will download NumPy and Matplotlib. Okay, it did not download SciPy because I think it. I think SciPy is updated in our install in my installation, so it didn't need that. Anyway. <coughs> anyway, it says uh, to install these packages or update these packages, you need uh, these files. So it says that. So if I press yes now, it'll it'll just go to the internet and download all the packages uh, re required, and then it's going to update them. Now, as this uh, process takes place, I'll tell you guys the mechanism that uh, runs behind under the hood. So if you just go into your Anaconda or Miniconda installation pro installation folder and look at this pack folder PKGS, and if you scroll the way scroll all the way down, you will you will find a lot of files like this. Namely, these this is actually a tar.bz2 file, and you will find so many folders like these. So what happened is that what happens is that uh, when you whenever you install a package, let's say okay uh, conda will download will download uh, tire dot will download tire dot bz2 files from the inter from the repository and then it just uh, un extracts them and puts them over here and after extracting them over here it just link link these files and if there is already an existing file an existing file let's say with the same like package the older package will be unlinked whereas this new package will be linked to be the main uh, package in that regard so if we are for instance if you already have a zlib package let's say an older version and if you install a newer version the older package will be unlinked and the newer package will be linked to your sy system configuration okay so what what i have in these tire.bz2 files is that these files will have your uh, the what do you call as the all the compiled file, all the compiled files necessary for MATLAB for, for your Python to run for Python to run. So these will have all the compiled uh, files that they were made from source, okay, and they are all packed up together. So what essentially Conda does is that it just collects them up, collects the, collects all the collects the files that are necessary, and then extracts them. Unlinks the older files and links the newer files, and that's about it. So it's not actually building the package from the start, from scratch. Rather, it's just uh, building the package, uh, just extracts them and links the packages that have already been built. Okay. Now that way, it saves a little, saves quite a lot of time while installation. So if you're working with some other packet, some other operation, or installing packages on the fly, let's say, then you may have to build them, but don't have to worry about it. No, Conda is easier. In that way, and also, uh, if you want to build a package right from scratch, you can also do that with Conda, but that is maybe too much for now, so I'm not going to talk about that. Now I'm going to tell you guys how to install, okay, how to install uh, a package that is not directly available in Conda, but is available available in the, not directly available in the Anaconda repository or Cadmium Analytics repository, but it's available in other channels. For instance. There is this package called as Pygame, which is actually used for making games in Python. So if you type Conda install Pygame, you, you look for the metadata and it will throw an error saying this package not found error, meaning this package is not directly available in the Condom Analytics repository. Okay, so how do we install this? Well, it will tell you. It will tell you to uh, automatically hint you to search for this. Uh, package in uh, package using the in the Anaconda repositories, 
uh, which are like separate repositories are uh, maintained by people so just copy this line and paste it over here and press enter and now if your package is available okay it will show you a, a list of users list of users having those packages okay these users have actually use separate user accounts in this website api.anaconda.org wherein these are wherein these users maintain their own private copies of uh, private copies of the of the libraries which are not ava directly available in the anaconda repository so you can you can uh, you can install them through you can install them so what you have to do just uh, scroll through this list of users and packages and see which packages is that you really want so this one says cogseed slash pygame says python library based on stl for making games and there are i think it's the same game library in different ones so you can pick whichever one whichever one of your choice so i'm going to pick this one because it has support for linux 64 uh, linux 64 so i picked this so to know more about it, I just have to type anaconda show user slash package name. So I'm going to type uh, anaconda show. Uh, uh, let's see, coxy slash uh, pi game. And if I press enter, it'll 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 show up all the metadata uh, about this package about this package and the version number from this website api.anaconda.org and to install this it automatically gives us this line at the bottom so all I do just copy this and paste it over here and press enter okay so this is how you install a channel package so all now what you do is just says there you go it just says um, the routine procedure if I press yes it will download the package so if you can see at the background now there is uh, now the pygame f uh, the f file pygame is being downloaded from the internet and this will be update this will be updating in a second and after it, up it downloads them up it will go and uh, you know extracts the package and links if there are any any older one and links links this up and that and that's about it and th there you go now with this with that your pygame is uh, your, your new package is installed now in the next tutorial I'll be talking to you guys how to install uh, these packages offline. Okay, that's all I have for you guys in this one. So see you guys around.